up on Snoqualmie Pass at the high up trailhead. And we are heading to the Snoqualmie Tunnel. It is 0.4 of a mile up there, up the trail up there. And the tunnel itself is 2.5 miles long. Oh, there's the tunnel. You can't really tell from this side how high the mountain is that you're going underneath. But when you come out the other side, you can see. It's a very, very long tunnel. So you better be in fairly good shape. But it's nice and cool, so it's not like you're gonna get overheated. It's kind of misty, foggy looking in there. It's nice and cool. Alright, we are going to get out the flashlights. Alright, here we are. Walking in the tunnel. That's my headlamp. I got it on low. There's uh, people just getting out. There's a group of people coming in behind us. As you can hear, let's turn that brightness up. There's the top of the tunnel. I don't know how well we're seeing this though, but there's lots and lots of leaks. And, I don't know, there's like 700 feet of rock above you once you get in here a little ways. My group is way up there now because I'm stopping, checking things out. service vehicles through here and stuff once in a while but and along the tunnel this little inlet's right there and they got old train stuff where piping went through pretty interesting We are maybe halfway, <laughs> a little over halfway. Closer and closer, we're almost down. Maybe a uh, hundred and fifty yards. Now it's getting warmer because the air is blowing in from this end of the tunnel. It's like 7 or 80 degrees outside out here. But in the tunnel, <laughs> the other end, it's like 50 degrees. It was cold. Had to build that there because there's a bunch of water coming out of the wall. That spot right there, where it's deteriorating, the water's coming through. People taking 
pictures at the end. Started in 1912, finished in 1914. All right. That's how much mountains over the top of you. Thousand feet or so. <laughs> this is a tunnel at the other end. Last time we came, there was barely anybody. It's busy this time. And we come out, there's picnic tables. And there's the bathroom down there. And there's more picnic tables on the other side of the bathroom. But there's a picnic table. There's several on here. Alright, here's one of the overlooks. The end of the tunnel. Way down there, flashing through the trees, is I-90. Cars going up there. There's a radio tower right there. Probably cell phone or whatever. There's the highway way down there. If you look way over there, you can see the highway. Danger, 15,000 volts. Ooh. There's probably no power at all going through it. But you never know, there could be. There is light at the end of the tunnel. I forgot to check what time it was when we got into the tunnel to see how long it takes to get through but it takes a little while not too bad though getting closer Lights getting bigger. walk without a light, make sure you stay on the right side of the tunnel so you don't get hit. Hello.
and Dave said, let there be light. And there was light at the end of the tunnel. <laughs> That's only because it's still daylight outside. <laughs> Ooh Washington State Parks. Anyway, here we are heading out. Ooh, look at these. I don't know if those are salmon berries or what they are. Not too bad though. <clears throat> lots and lots of them. It looks like most of them have already been picked. But there's still a lot left. Yeah, most of them have been eaten off by the birds or people. bunch of satellite dishes right there and you can hear we're right next to I-90 again <laughs> <laughs> 